Welcome, welcome, welcome. The fresh air is overrated. The weekly source for anything gaming with wild map and curves. And Steiner. Again, and. Yo, welcome to Fresh Air is Overrated. It is episode number three, uh, 237. 237. Got a little bit ahead of myself right there. Thursday, July 20, 20th, 2017. I am Wal Matt, and uh, Steiner's over there. Hello. And I actually Hello. unmuted him this week, so... Okay, there we go. That's there why I said it too. twice, because you typically unmute me as I say hello, nope, and then nope. it gets cut off. No, nope. I remembered this week. Mm. Yeah. So how are things going? Uh, Chester Bennington died today, so I mean, uh, I could be feeling cheerier, but I, I, I guess I listened to more Linkin Park today than I usually would, so I it, don't it's not all bad. Who that is? It, so. The singer from Linkin Park has taken his own life today. Yeah, uh, hung himself, so he is now dead, and that sucks. Because Linkin Park is actually one of the few bands where I, w- I would consider it my own. You know, a lot of music I listen to is like my parents. It's like, you know, they liked ACDC and stuff. So I kind of liked AD- ACDC as well. Linkin Park was like, it was my thing. It was my parents telling me what to listen to and stuff, you know? That was like... Not inter- exactly. The internet sure. was just starting too. So I, I actually li- listened to Linkin Park before they were called Linkin Park. They were called uh, Hybrid Theory. The, the album. I thought... The same album... The very first album is, has the same name, so. Okay, maybe that's why I know the name. Yeah, uh, but uh, th- I think Wayne Static was in that band, which is Static X. He might also right. be dead. Is Wayne Static dead? I don't know. There's a lot of rock and roll dudes that are dead, so I have no idea anymore. If but I think they he might do have like the away. drugs, which oh, the yep. drugs do lead to things. Wayne Static passed away in 2014. So there you hmm. go. No more Static X either. No more of those bands from the 90s that were kind of edgy. 99. Let's say 99 because it's not really 90s. Linkin Park was edgy? A little bit. It was like screaming and, you know, I'm not well, going to listen to you. Shut up. You know, all that stuff. It's for the time. You know, it wasn't fucking. Of edgy. It wasn't. Smells like Teen Spirit. Here we are now. <laughs> in the <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't really like that song. I don't really like that song. I do. I'm not. I do love Kurt Cobain. I just, I just not a huge. Yeah, well, I, dude. yeah. Well, yeah. Lithium, I think, is a much better song. But hey, I, I'm just comparing two popular songs. That's yeah, I know. Yeah. That, that was because that first Linkin Park is probably the one Linkin Park song everybody knows. Well, it's weird. It's weird because Linkin Park became such a different thing by the time it reached well, the they, end there. They, they were in a movie. Was it Fast and the Furious? Or was it... <laughs> Maybe. They were in G.I. Joe. One of them was in G.I. Joe. No, no. Well, I mean the like the song. Oh, the song. I don't... Maybe. I had to... Pff, Linkin that, that's when Linkin Park blew the fuck up. Was, I think it was Fast and the Furious, but I don't fucking know. Yeah, because nowadays they're like more uh, electrical dance music is what I would probably... Like, it's weird. It's still rock, but it's... It's evolved into something different. There's a lot of wubs in there and a lot of drops and, rrr, 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 you know, all that good stuff. And I would say it's Fresh Air is overrated. Megascorcher.com. That's our website. Go check it out. Megascorcher.com. All the MP3s and VODs for Megascorcher, or for, for Fresh Air is overrated, is up there. We're also on Apple Podcasts and everywhere else podcasts can be found. And we're live streaming on YouTube, Twitch, uh, Ustream, Smashcast. Uh, and another one I, you know there's so many of them you can go to megasearch.com and it'll just tell you all right let's go to the first segment here the games are playing and uh, i've been playing wastelands 2 it's a if anyone doesn't actually know what it is it's well how a, old is that now uh, like two years three years two i'd probably go with three yeah that came out a little uh, bit ago uh, that, that was uh one of the first like fan uh, raised money project things, right? Yeah, fan funded, um, crowd funded, whatever the hell you want to call it. Yes, I'm over eighteen. Fuck off. Uh, 2014, actually. So it's yeah, September 14. So two and a half years. That's uh, gonna be three years. Yeah. <laughs> 
give it a few months there. It's going to be th- three years. Yep. Fuck, it's already almost July. Or almost August. Man, mm-hmm. it is July. <laughs> it is July. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, I played uh, a lot of Mega Man related stuff. M- Mighty Gunvolt. I'm going to finish that soon. Mm. It's not very long, so I've been stretching it out. But uh, I played... Mm, how many hours did I play of that? Maybe like maybe five or six of it so far? It's kind of hard, so you'll die a few times before... You actually learn how to finish level. Uh, Mega Man 2.5D actually came out in January uh, of this year, and I totally missed out on it. I, did, I had no idea it actually came out. That's the game where it's uh, Mega Man, the classic games, but it's in 2.5D, so the levels are actually 3D, but every, you know the, it's still all sprites and stuff. Uh, and you can play two players, Proto Man and Mega Man, at the same time, so that's kind of cool. And I think it has online, but I, I don't remember. And I also played Mega Maker, which is, imagine Super Mario Maker, but for Mega Man. And that's a fan-made game, and it's, pretty, it's cool as shit because it has servers. So they're, putting, they're actually putting money behind this game because they have to pay for servers for all the levels to be shared with everybody. And uh, there's some cool goddamn levels that people already made that fuck around with how you would think a normal Mega Man level would work with. Anyways, so... Yeah, that Mega Man Maker, go check it out. Uh, it's mega-maker.com is where you can go to to go play it. And uh, I'm, I'm actually Wild Matt on it too. So if you go do that, then you can go find my levels when I will eventually make some tonight or tomorrow. I, I've just been playing the, the levels so far. There's a few awesome levels in there actually. So go check that out. That's it. That's all I've been playing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's go to new releases. Last week, there was a Fire Pro Wrestling that came out on Steam Early Access. So if you're into 2D fighting or 2D wrestling games uh, that are Japanese focused, that you can make any character you want in there pretty much. That's Fire Pro and it's on Steam now. Uh, Fantastic Contraption was a flash game where you would like make vehicles to traverse above, uh, across certain terrain and they made it for PC and PS4 it's 3D now I think mm. it's 10 bucks and it actually looks fucking amazing it works in VR too so you can build your little contraptions in VR it, oh, look, it looks okay. pretty cool I would totally check that out if I had VR and even if you didn't it's still a pretty cool fucking game I, I really love that original Flash game so and an Unholy Night, uh, The Darkness Hunter, came out for the Super Nintendo. You could have bought a cart for the Super Nintendo and the Famicom. But, like, I don't understand how... They just re-released the game. That's it. it this game you know, came but, out uh, in Japan. Is there actual hard copies of the game? Yes. Like, yes. So you can go buy a disc. Yeah. And, well, not a disc. Or a not a disc, a cassette. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever you want to call it. The plasticky thing. Uh, so this game actually got released initially in Japan on the Satellaview service, I think, which is something you would pay monthly for. Mm. And it was like, a t- imagine it's like watching TV, but for video games. So like during this hour, you can play Star Fox 2. And then during this hour, you can play this thing. So you would you could only play this, the games that would be on the schedule. So, that's you know, it's weird, but yep, okay. it is weird. But that's how it worked, and now that game it was never actually released, and now it's on an actual mm. card. Cool. And then this week, not too much. Uh, Super Hot came out for uh, PS4. Sorry, it says PC here, okay. but it's PS4. Yeah. That makes more sense. And it's also uh, Super Hot VR. Those are two different yeah. games. Two different yeah, games. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Splatoon um, Two came out for the Nintendo Switch. That's just more Splatoon. So if you're into Splatoon, that's just more of it. Yeah. <laughs> By the looks of it, it looks exactly like the first game. So, not much to yeah, say about I, that. I, I don't know if what has actually cha- well, what changes from shooter to shooter, anyways. So, well, I can I tell. I can tell. The added difference. a couple of guns and especially between battlefields, it's of, more. It's I think battlefields well, have more of a distinct. Okay, yeah. Difference well, what's the difference between Black Ops Two and Black Ops Three? Uh, Black Ops Three can run on walls, and Black Ops Two you can't. Okay, I I have no fucking clue. Okay, Black Uh, Ops and Black Ops Two. Black Ops One to Black Ops Two. Black Ops Two added that thing where you could dive in the air. Um, I don't know. Was that the second Ops? I don't remember. I don't remember. 
And you could do that in Battlefield from like. Blops Two had a way years. awesome story. Blops Two had okay, a way you're talking fucking single awesome single player. That's different. I'm talking <laughs> of the multi. Because well, does Splatoon even have a single player? Uh, I think so. I think so. I want to say yes. I have no fucking clue. I want to say yes. I want to say that there's like a story to Splatoon. Because I just don't know. Well, as far is. as I know, if anything of anyone's ever talked about, it's always been the multiplayer. Oh well, yeah, I don't know that's, if that's because Nintendo. I want to say never... this: if there is single player, it's probably just like online. It's probably just like you know battle arenas that just is the online with bots, and then you get like a few things of a storyline. If I had to guess, that's probably what it is. If there is anything. Anyways, hey, we weren't here for the last, what, two, two, two weeks, one week, something like that. So I, I held over some news. So, uh, you know, there's some news, but I, rem I removed everything that we don't care about. So hopefully mm. this is stuff we all care about. Oh, oh, so, sorry. Orcs Must Die Unchained came out on PS4. That's a free game. It's a tower defense game that was out on the PS3. And uh, it's coming to the PS4 now. Woo, it's free though. So if you're into free games, go download that. So Bloomberg reported that the Oculus Rift is working on a $200 version of their headset. What does this mean, though? It's just imagine the phone headsets without the phone. It's just a headset by itself. That's what it, this is going to end up being. Could you even do that for $200? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, for sure. Because computers now are pretty inexpensive. Small computers. Like uh, the Raspberry Pis and all that stuff. Yeah, but Raspberry Pi couldn't do the GPU necessary to actually do that. We'll see. I don't know. We'll see what they're doing. $200 is a good price, though. Mm. Well, $200 is pretty cheap. Like, you, you can get cell phones for 200 bucks, but they are not very good. No, no. But again, they Folder have more expensive. than just screen. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, there's an Xbox update out today, and it added the ability to upload your... Uh, that was last week, sorry. This is last week. Last week. This came out last week. So you can upload your own p pictures for your avatar now. You, you don't need to choose from whatever Microsoft gives you, or you don't need to buy them anymore. Oh, thank goodness. You can co-stream on Mixer with three other people. So you can have four-player streams just on the Xbox streaming on Mixer. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And then if you have multiple profiles on your console, you can actually assign a specific controller to be yours. So when you turn it on, it's yeah. just going to go into your profile. So that's cool. So if you have, especially with the Xboxes, Xbox has a lot of controllers. Yeah. <laughs> you can get the, the custom colored ones. They have the elite ones with the, like, the paddles in the back and the extra buttons and all that. So have you taken a look at Mixer and how that cross pl or cross stream stuff works? Or? Oh yeah, I just have to go uh, in the settings and accept people. So like, uh, let's say you set up an account, and if you start streaming, you can just you just have access to start streaming on Mega Scorcher. And if you're streaming and I'm streaming at no, the same well, time, it's just going to be there. We're just going to both be there. Right, because it, the thing is, it doesn't split screen it it actually gives you two separate screens or four, like and then it like from what i could i went there and i was actually looking at it and there's is each person has their own view so you're not actually really able to watch each stream oh, so you can just like click a button and be like i'm gonna go look at while matt right and then i'm gonna go look at steiner suck so at if Battle you go full screen you only see one person's screen you don't uh, see you know, that, that's not that bad that's okay that's uh, that's okay. It's it's something. They should really add an option to just split screen it though too. Yeah. If you wanted to do that, I'm sure I'm sure maybe they'll do that. It's just that's going to take a lot up of your internet. Uh, hopefully, you have a good. Well, because download. like right now, I'm watching. I, I don't know what game this is. It looks like some Destiny Two. <laughs> No, it it looks like WoW or something. Okay, um, sure. But they like they're just side by side two screens. Okay. So I'm assuming if there was four, there'd be two and two. But if you go to full screen, one of them. Okay, so you, you shows can you split screen them. One. Okay, okay, so you can split screen them. It's not split screen. It's split up within the browser. Oh, oh yeah, sure, same thing. Same thing. Two videos in one thing. All right. 
So did and you, if you watch? And you go to full screen one, it pauses the other ones. I assume that you didn't watch Evo. No. But I did. There's a lot of news that came out of there. A little tease for later. I only watched Street Fighter Five. Mm. So, uh, and it's, it aired on ESPN Dose as well again this year, for right. the second time. Uh, I watched both because the online feed, when there is commercials or when there's other things going on in the arena, they were just like, uh, here's just a logo and music. Mm. So I went to ESPN when they were doing like the pregame coverage stuff. Right. It's interesting. Uh, the production is definitely way better the last two years than it was before. All right. Destiny 2 beta, you can go get it right now. People are already breaking it like Destiny 1. Like you can go through walls and stuff already. So nice. Cool. I already talked about Mega Maker. I might as well watch this video here for it. But uh, yeah, it's just you can make Mega Man levels and it's it's pretty cool. I have not played around with the Maker yet, but I played one level. It was pretty cool. It was only one screen and it used some teleporters from I think it's like Mega Man 4 where you go in a teleporter and you go somewhere else on the screen. And right. it does that, but it blocks one of the teleporters. So it's only one room, and you're playing that one room over and over. It's pretty interesting until you get to the boss. It, like, it changes every time you use a teleporter. Mm. And you can't go back to the first teleporter, so you always have to keep progressing. It's pretty cool. So this is like a ROM, or what? No, this is an EXE you get at mega-maker.com. Okay, so it's a completely separate... Yeah, and it has a server and everything you have to log in. You can okay. share your levels. It's pretty easy to get other people's levels. It's exactly like it's it's Super Mario Maker just for Mega Man. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I want to say but it's then the this first. This is also not licensed because there was issues. It is with not. That, it is it? not. It is not. But it seems like Capcom usually leaves Mega Man stuff alone mm. for whatever reason. Uh, what was that Capcom thing? There was something not too long ago that they shut down. Mm, it wasn't Mega Man though. Was it Resident Evil related? I don't remember. I don't remember. But yeah, because Mega Man 2.5 D just came out earlier this year, and mm. they didn't. Bo- they, like that's been out for six, seven months now, and okay. they haven't bothered them yet. So, the the thing that's different about this one though is that like there's a server that they have to maintain and keep up. Right. Like if they just said, eh, "Nah, you can't do that," then the game's gone forever. So yeah, it's it's pretty sweet. And you know, Kuni 2, Revenant Kingdoms 2, their release date got pushed from November to January of next year. So that's the game that looks like an anime. Like it just straight up looks like an anime. Did we talk about this last week? Uh, I do remember talking about it. I don't remember it being delayed. Mm, but. Well, it's delayed now. Uh, so the multiplayer was also something that maybe was going to come out, but that was just due to mistranslation. And they were like, nah, nah, that's not happening. It's just an R- it's just guys. It's just an RPG. Come mm-hmm. on. Come on. Try to make some sense here. Uh, hey, Xbox one gift uh, game gifting. You can do that soon. That's cool. So like steam. Yeah. Buy things for people. I'm kind of surprised it's taking that long to get to consoles. Mm, I, I guess. The, the Xbox stuff with the er, the online store is pretty cool. Like, so far, Xbox does seem like they are really thinking ahead with their downloadable well, that's stuff. Not even exactly thinking ahead, though. Like you've been able to do that with Steam for uh, no, 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 no. But not not years. this, not this. Just everything that Xbox has been doing, right? Like uh, yeah, no, fair enough. I would say they're trying to be more proactive because they have to be because they've sold significantly less number of consoles. Yes. So they're having to try to, like, give extra like stuff. Like, the stuff with backwards compatibility in Xbox is awesome. Like, uh, yeah, that's one yeah. of the cool things. And then game gifting, you know, that's another thing that they're ahead on. There's a lot of stuff that they have that Steam started and they, they do have and yeah. PS4 does not. Yeah. So that's a, just well, you know, another yeah, one. Yeah, it's just I don't really fully understand. That's just another issue that I have with the consoles. But, yeah. Eventually, the internet's just going to explode and, and none of it's going to be there anymore, so... Someday that's gonna happen. Oh yeah, some comments just gonna hit everything, and we're all done. Mm. Forget, forget the the. That's servers. when we make giant lasers and blow it out of the sky, sure. and then it just destroys all the satellites. But well, then it will cause an EMP effect with the laser. The laser is gonna be so powerful; <laughs> it's just not gonna knock out everything, including Maybe. the comet, we'll but see. also everything on Earth. 
<laughs> Put us back into the Stone Age. Oh, it'll push off. It'll push us off of our axis. We're done. We can't shoot mm. a laser off of the planet. We gotta shoot a, a, a spaceship into space first, and then shoot the laser. Shoot it from space. It's it's laser, so <laughs> it's it's light. Why wouldn't we be able to? Because it's it's so powerful. It's That's, it's so powerful. It, the it, light rays it, will push it, us back. It it's light though. <laughs> That's not the way light works. It's the not f- a rocket that's then blasting off a ship. It, it It's different. But it's super powerful. It's like it's but super, super, it's, super, super powerful. That, that's You'd, not the way light works. <laughs> You'll see. You'll see. It'll happen. Uh, so, yeah, Battlegrounds got pushed back from its uh, October released, and it's now coming out before the end of this year. Yeah. So, whatever. That's already playable. It's whatever. Yeah. Well, that, well it, I think it more. Uh, is all for what's actually going to happen on Xbox for that actual release? Because yes, PC is like ninety nine. Oh, that's another done. thing Xbox has. It has early access. No, it's not early. I don't. Yes, it. Yeah, they have early access games. When it comes out on Xbox, it's going to be early access. I I have to assume. I. Well, the thing is, that's the thing. I don't think it's coming out until they say it's coming out on this. So it was supposed to come out at re- launch of the. But I don't think this. They, I don't think they pushed back the uh, the uh, Xbox date. No, they didn't. So it's still coming out in October. Oh yeah, so that's Battle what I'm Grounds saying. Was supposed to come out. So but it's now still. It's not coming that's out what I'm saying. Xbox, I'm just saying Xbox has early access. God damn it, and PS4 I, doesn't. I, what early access? Games come out before they're actually games on the Xbox. They do. Yes. <laughs> Like what? I don't know stuff. <laughs> I can't name you specific exact. Name me one on Steam. What Minecraft? I can't think of anything. Fuck, I don't well, know. No, was, Minecraft was different. I know that was a EXE on a website. Yeah, because it was um, a Java game. Fucking Java. Well, like you're talking about early <laughs> access games. There's a couple of dozen that I can. Well, it's Green Light now. No, Green. Oh no, old. Green Light was the old thing. Yeah. Green light was something to make fan may or have fans vote on something to then allow it on to. Anyways, they definitely Act- have that stuff on Xbox One for games. Just I don't I don't I don't have any specific games to give you because I'm one I don't have an Xbox and two I don't give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> Well, because like you, the actual disc release, I'm, I'm assuming, is not going to come out until it's actually. Is, out is there even going to be a disc release of that thing? I'm sure there will be. Probably, but oh, it's, it's fucking it, disc games. Get the fuck out of here. That thing's a multiplayer well, game. Don't right. Need a fucking but, disc. <laughs> but there's also going to be multiple levels and. Yeah, that's discs, exactly you know, why you don't so need I a don't. goddamn disc. The games are going to come out digitally, or the the levels if they're not done by then. Well, they will be done by then. That's will why they, though? Will that's they? why they're delaying it until saying it's going to be out before the end of the they year. They could release it without those maps. I wouldn't be surprised. I don't, there are, I, have, I don't know. They're doing but. way more than just the maps is the thing. Um, I don't think so, actually. By now, I think that's all they're really working on. Or that and like some balancing issues. Oh, of, yeah. Like, well, yeah they're randomizations doing... and things like that of just how it... Cause like apparently that first person mode is coming show. out uh, this week, if it's not already out. Oh, it's been out for, for a while. For oh, well, you could play first person since the beginning, but there's a specific first person only mode now. Oh, okay. That I don't... Yeah. Okay. Uh, Nintendo followed the trademark for a Nintendo 64 controller in Europe. So now people are all excited that there's going to be a Nintendo 64 Classic. Or they're just going to release an N64 controller for the Switch and say, fuck you. And, and charge you play, $15 for a 20-year-old game. Yes, play Mario 64 here. Yep. You already paid for it on the Wii. Pay for it and again yep. here. On the Switch, yeah. Because mm-hmm. you're dumb. Mm-hmm. You see, that's what I'm saying with the Microsoft stuff. They're just bitter about it. all this thing, all about, about online Oh, they're definitely <laughs> fucking, I'm better than Nintendo, and I've done jack shit. Sure, sure. It's not h- tough competition, but exactly. they're also better than Sony. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Microsoft. I'm not, yes. yes. I'm, not saying my, I'm not saying PS4 is terrible, but they're not that great. They're not that great. The download speed have never been awesome on, on that thing. Oh, I heard if you do a, a proxy server through your computer to download games, it goes faster. 
there's something about the PS4's uh, Ethernet port or something that just accepts packets slower. Uh, it can't oh, accept well, as more as, as much as your PC can. Actually, somehow. is it? Is that a gigabit or is that a megabit? I don't know, but that uh, apparently if you just do a proxy server through your PC, it just well, goes faster. That doesn't really make any sense. Well, okay. uh, some dude explained it. That's just, just how it is. It, it, well, you're, you're I understand there'd be less packet loss because there'd be less interference, but y- you wouldn't they be talking go, They about, download oh. at the same speed. It's just the PS4 reaches a, a, a crescendo where it's just like, we have too much data. Okay, great. Slow down. We got to take it in. S- slow the fuck down. We got to take this data in. All right. All right. We got too much. We got to take some more. And when you do that through your PC, it just, I don't know, it, it feeds it into slow, into smaller things that it just goes through faster. I don't know. Okay. I, I'm not, I'm no whiz when it comes to the internet. There's a lot of weird stuff with even local networks sometimes. I'm just like, fuck. Why is this shit not working? I know. Yeah. Uh, Blaze Blue. Oh, well, here we go. This is all Evo news. So Blaze Blue got a new game called Cross Tag Battle. And uh, it's a game where you can play as Persona 4 characters, Blaze Blue characters, and Under Night in Birth. I don't know what that is. That's a Japanese game, I'm assuming. Uh-huh. Some Japanese RPG. Uh, they said that they're going to announce more characters and stuff. So that could be interesting. I know a lot of people are excited about having Persona 4 characters against Blaze Blue characters. So. And uh, yeah, in terms of Evo, I only watched Street Fighter 4, or sorry, 5. There's this American dude called Punk. I think he was 18 years old. And he destroyed the whole goddamn thing until he got to the end. And uh, he did pretty good in the first final. So he was the winner. What so, do you mean the first final? Because he was the winner, right? So it's a double elimination. So oh. the first final he lost. And then they were both losers. So the next guy losing would would lose okay. ultimately. And uh, by the time he got to the second final, he just got destroyed. Straight up destroyed. I don't even think he went around. So, uh, yeah, he's got some work to do. They said beforehand, too, before the match even started, they said Takedo has like a 12 to 0 uh, advantage over him in money okay. matches this year. So mm. it, it was pretty obvious that Takedo was going to win. Mm. Yeah, and it was, uh, they spoke to some Japanese dude who could barely speak English afterwards. And, he, you know, it, it, I actually kind of like listening to those guys either way, even if they don't know how to speak English. It's always like, he was like, Fighting games are best thing, and it was like, yeah, woo! And it's like, if a dude, if an American dude would have said that, nobody would have been going crazy like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so yeah, t- uh, another Asian dude won. Street well, if Fighter he said 5. it in Japanese in Japan, then they probably would go ape shit. Oh yeah, yes, but Evo is in Vegas. So yes, so they want an American to win, and they never do. No, they never. It's do. fighting games. No, they wouldn't. Uh, the at arcade one point, scene in when Street Fighter Japan Two, and Korea is... when Street Fighter Two and Street Fighter Three were the things, there was some Americans. Street Fighter Four even, but uh, was... yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, fair enough. There were some good Americans, but there was always there was always a Japanese guy that just would wipe the fucking floor with yes, them. Yes, yes. There like was Justin always one Wong, or two, like yeah, just like Justin Wong Justin would Wong always get to the finals and then finals get destroyed and then by get fucking destroyed, yeah. Daigo. Yes, <laughs> every time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's always like. Yep. Yeah. Anyways, Street, Street Fighter is the only thing I really watch at Evo. I used to be more dedicated to. It. I just I just don't have as much time as I used to. Mm. So they showed off this Arika game. So Arika is the developer of Street Fighter EX One, Two, and Three, uh, a series that has not been in existence for a long time. Street Fighter, Street Fighter EX. That was a I'm, PS One game, and Street I think Fighter. I, I, Street Fighter what? EX3 was a PS2 game. Uh, they were just 3D Street Fighter games. That was the gimmick. It was like, hey, look, they're 3D. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah. <laughs> they were fun. They were, they, they were like Street Fighter games, but a little bit more over the top. The characters would fly off the screen and shit. Um, yeah, so they're making a new game. There's no name to it yet, but Skullamania's in it. Skullamania's in it. He, I don't know. Skullamania was in Street Fighter EX. Uh, he's oh. like a... So in Japan, I think he's an he's either an anime or a manga character. Oh. Uh, he's a superhero, and by day he's just a regular office dude, but by night he puts on a skull 
uh, outfit and he becomes oh, Skullamania. Oh, okay, yeah. I, I've seen. <laughs> Skullamania is awesome. So, but the thing, the, th- the thing that's so weird about this is that they haven't named this yet. They're straight up characters that have, you know, Dragon Ball, uh, well, Dragon Balls, what am I talking Dra- uh, Dra- Dragon uppercuts and fireballs and it, it straight up looks a lot like a Street Fighter game. So, if I were Capcom right now, I would just say, hey, hey guys, put some Street Fighter guys in here and just call it Street Fighter EX4. Because it, it looks a lot like a fucking Street Fighter EX game already. Do without you, the Street Fighter games, uh, without the Street Fighter dudes in, the, in there. Do they want, like, well, I mean, I... A lot of people are thirsty for some Skullamania. That's for sure. Right, right. <laughs> but, I mean, like, does the developer want to be linked to Capcom, or does link, Capcom want to be linked to the uh, developer? And here's another weird thing. Uh, the, the text for Here Comes a New Challenger and all that, that's, that's just straight, that's just straight up street fighter 4 text so mm. i don't know if it's a font that they licensed and capcom licensed it to and it's just like weird well no, it, yeah. there's no way it's a coincidence there's no fucking way it's a coincidence also this level looks like reuse level just <clears throat> everything's broken in the background like i guess i guess it is kind of broken in reuse background too but anyways anyways i, I don't know I, it's I, it's still weird that it's unnamed and that they have showed off this much of it so far Mm-hmm. I, I just wouldn't be surprised if it was ultimately a Street Fighter EX game. I wouldn't be surprised at all. Anyways, uh, oh, hey, there's a Fatal Fury character coming to Tekken 7, and it's Geese Howard. If you didn't even know that it was a uh, a Fatal Fury character and you watched the trailer, you probably were just like, oh, cool, a new dude for Tekken 7. But he's straight up from uh, another Capcom game. So, oh no, Fatal Fury, that's SNK. That's SNK. My bad. They already have a Capcom dude in, in this game. Akuma. This, I, I kind of want to get uh, Tekken 7 because of Akuma. And now they're adding Geese Howard in there. I'm curious how they play in this. Well, oh man, that's the one thing. There's no real story uh, mode in the arcade mm. uh, mode in, in this. The single player story is like, it, it's a lot like. Mortal Kombat, where you switch between characters. Damn you, Mortal okay. Kombat. You ruined everything for arcade storylines. Because now everybody wants to do this cutscene shit. Which I don't mind. It's better, but still. It would still be good if Tekken all had their uh, custom endings for each character. Which I think they do. It's just, you know, it's it's less uh, personalized than it was before, I guess. It's not as, as in-depth as it was. Ah, that's just man anyways. Yeah. So that uh, Sh- Crash Bandicoot remake, a lot of people are not happy about it because the phys- physics are totally different. Uh, he falls faster than he does in the PS1 okay, game. Okay, so what the actual <laughs> thing is is that they took the they simulated the physics from Crash Three, yes. and then applied that to the other two games. Mm-hmm. So it's different than what Crash Bandicoot and Crash Two were but not by all that much. And then they guess they redid the hitboxes or the, well, what it seems, what it seems like to me, you're looking at the videos and what the, it seems like anytime yeah. there's a rounded um, edge, you actually kind of slip off of it. Right. So you, you actually do have to jump further off into it now, as opposed to a PS one game where it's just like, Oh, I wouldn't, I, we're not taking into account any slopes here. Yeah. Here's where no, the but that's, a, in, that's it. I do believe in no, no, I guess that the rounded stuff, it's just the physics. So how fast you drop those two. Yeah, because I remember Cause I, you're I played, jumping your Crash Bandicoot mm-hmm. 1 and 3 are the two I played the most. I played two, yeah. but I, I just didn't play as much. And um, the the first one just doesn't give a shit about any rounded edges. Everything is just a straight edge as, yes, as, a, yes. as a programming goes. The third yep. one definitely takes into account edges. Okay. So that's a different. Yeah, it's just it's weird. It's, it's it's funny that they're acknowledging it and they did a huge fucking statement about it and at the end they're just kind of like fuck you we're not changing it yeah no why would you change it, it <laughs> they, did. They, sh- they probably should they probably should change it because a lot of people yeah. uh, dude that's the only thing i've heard about this game is that it's sold a lot and people are pissed because they suck at games that's no you can't say that dude imagine yeah, you, no imagine, dude, it was in the third game dude so the no, third no, no, game just should listen, be nearly just identical listen. imagine you fucking bought uh, uh, Super Mario All Stars on the Super Nintendo, 
and then you play the first Super Mario, and you're just like, what the fuck? It's entirely fucking different. Mario it doesn't jump was. the same. What the fuck's going on? I'm it done was. with this shit. I'm not. Uh, the only thing that was different about that is uh, the collision detection with your head and blocks. The jumping was exactly the same, though. Okay. Sure. <laughs> I, I I know there were differences, and I remember there being differences. I don't. But he jumped and he ran and everything was the same. The only difference was that the, the collision detection with the head and blocks was a little bit different. But besides that, it was basically the same the same game. Okay, so how's that changing anything? The third game would be the same game then, because they're they well, took the, the physics from that's the third yeah. game. And even then, I don't think that, I don't think it's exactly the same. Well, they simulated it so of course it's not gonna be the well, exact same but if you read the really statement if close. you read the statement it was just super weird because they were like we're trying to like stay uh faithful to the original no you're not you just two seconds earlier you said that you modified the fucking physics so you're not trying to stay faithful what the that but i mean, oh, no, but they are <laughs> they're staying faithful to the third one no they no they didn't they started from the third one and they they changed shit so it resembles the third one the most, but it's not the third one. Okay, maybe. None of the games well, are exactly they, they the same. The visit- no, none of the games are exactly the same. It's just the third one was the one that they paid the most attention to, and then two and th- two and well, one they were just the third like one two was- and one they were just like we'll put the same fucking physics, and they were like they yes. were like oh shit maybe we shouldn't, and they then they modified them a little I, bit I more, and yeah whatever whatever. Because well, it's, it's the same engine and stuff. They're not going to have the edges and stuff being different between. Oh, I know, all three games. I know, but that that's still no excuse. The physics they probably could change pretty easily because that would just be a value of how quickly you drop and. Oh, you could change how the fucking edges of uh, stuff works on the first. Game. No, but that, that's a modeling thing because it's all mesh based. So you're then having to model likely the same surface three times then because you're in three different games. Just put some invisible thing on top. That's just straight. <laughs> like, who cares? All right. Anyways, PS4 firmware 5.0 is going to be entering beta testing. So if you are interested, you can go to the PlayStation blog. Yeah. If you, if you want to brick your PlayStation, go for it. I don't think anybody's bricked the PlayStation with the beta. It's just it might not work as good. Well, so. they were the the 4.5 was breaking shit. Once it actually released, I don't know if the beta was. Oh, well, then that's that's a different issue. I don't think the beta was, though. Yeah, I don't know about the beta, but the actual 3.5 was. Yeah, that's why I never have a download betas automa- uh, download firmwares automatically. Yeah. I never do that. Never. <laughs> I'll risk having to download a firmware. Um, on the official Xbox website, you can get the... Uh, you can get... It says that The Evil Within 2 and Wolfenstein 2 is going to be... Xbox One X enhanced. That's not yeah. a surprise, but no, cool, not good, really good. Because again, they're just going to take the shit they did on PC and port it into. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now the the thing, is, like again, like new games on PC are mass. Like Doom is like fifty five gigs or something like that. And what were they talking? The Forza Motorsport Seven or whatever is going to be like a hundred gigs or something like that. How much that? is a Blu Ray now? Um. <laughs> Well, it's 25 gigs a layer, depending on how many layers. I don't know how but many layers. But I think layers. that Xbox, the, the Xbox One has the new uh, drives in them that can do the, the 4K Blu-rays. Yes, so right. Th- so I, but things, I don't know how many layers, because that doesn't in, directly in, extrapolate into how many layers you can actually read. I'm just going to look um, at this up. Well, yeah, it says I've, having a storage capacity of up to 100 gigabytes. Right. Um. Which it does depend on your reader on, so you'd actually have to figure out how many layers the reader on Xbox X or Onyx or whatever the fuck whatever we're calling the it the new uh, can actually then read. I would assume they'll have to go up to the four layers to then be able to read 100 gigs, because or it's all just gonna be download. Because you're, you're downloading it onto your system no matter what the fuck you do. Uh, it's that's, just yeah, doing that's it most online, games, right? or are so. you doing it through the disc reader? So I, I don't. That's the most again, like, You put it in the freaking system have, and you got to download it. Have they specified patch, so. how large of a drive the Onyx has? Pff, no idea. A terabyte? Two terabytes? Yeah, I, I would think it would probably just be a terabyte, um, which will fill up pretty 
fucking fast if you're having to do 100 for the gig. price they should put a five uh two terabyte in there no i i don't disagree but i don't know if that would actually happen because they, they are laptop hard drives um i don't know if they're even going to be a 7200 rpm drive so you're probably be looking at a 5400 rpm and for two terabyte you're probably be looking at around 70 bucks so the difference between 70 and 55 microsoft probably won't want to eat that cost because no one's going to pay the extra just 20 eat it. That's... just eat it microsoft you did it already with the fucking capture card being in the xbox one original just fucking eat it was it a People... capture card or well was that, it... that's what it was it was a pass-through card or something it was, it was pa- pass through is different than capture though yeah but, but still it's still it's still exp- some money yeah just reinvest it in the goddamn hard drive that people actually want yeah <laughs> anyways uh-huh. nidhog that game that looked like an atari 2600 game and it was like about you were dueling and trying to run to the the left or the right depending which player you were anyways mm-hmm. there's a sequel and it looks like a super nintendo game and it's coming out simultaneously on the ps4 and the pc august 15th it's probably going to be like 15 dollars or something uh, I really love Nidhogg right, is, 1. Is that the sword game? Yes, yes, the duel. Okay. Duel. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's really fun when you, you have a, a buddy next to you and you can play that. I, I, I never actually knew the name of that game. I saw people playing it. It looked cool, but never It is actually. a blast. It's, it's so fun to play because it's so easy. It's yeah. It's so easy. You can, well, it's I, two I, buttons. Dude, there was some <laughs> shit that I saw people playing and they were fucking good holy oh yeah no crap. you can you can definitely get good at it there's the uh, timing that they had of that shit holy crap the stuff because they were playing against people that had no fucking clue or just yeah if you play against somebody that doesn't know you can just throw your sword as like, soon as they fucking spawn and then they, they spawn and whoop the sword's already there whoop they're yeah. dead <laughs> yeah dead hogs is super awesome it's, it's a really fun competitive game it's one of those that even if you do lose, you're just like, who cares? That was so intense and fun. Mm-hmm. It was so fun. Like, you know, when you sometimes well, you play all, a yeah, first person one shooter one and you're just like, fuck that. That was all bullshit. That whole game was entirely, I'm done. I'm fucking leaving. I never <laughs> feel that way about Nidhogg. It's always your own fault. I'm just, oh, yeah. Yeah. I meant, yeah, I was supposed to lose that one. It was, but it was fun. Fucking destiny sometimes. God damn it. Anyways. <laughs> Doom releases 6.66 patch. And yeah. it, it makes the DLC available to everybody. So if anybody's playing the online, uh, is there a single player DLC? Not that I know uh, of. Don't think so. As far as I knew, it was all multiplayer. But that's that's good news for the people who did pay for it early. Now now you'll have more people to play with. Yeah, but it. Yeah. Well, yes that's what I no. hated about Battlefield. Is every time I paid for something, yeah, there was always people playing it initially. But then, like, a month or two later, when the other packs came out, there's way less people playing it. Yep. So. Well, that's the issue with the payable DLC to begin with, is that, like, people lose interest. They go into other games. Mm-hmm. They don't think it's worth the cost. It's blah, yeah, blah, blah. And Battlefield blah, blah, 3, blah. the best maps were the DLC maps. There, there was a few yeah. Battlefield 3 maps that were good, but the yeah. best ones were all DLC. Well, the, yeah, uh, the Omar and Gulf of... Well, that's, those are classic maps, so yeah, they are well, DLC yes, technically. But, you know. Yes, but <laughs> those are the maps I like. I do like those maps too, but uh, th- there was the huge one on the mountain where you started off on the ground and there was no snow, but if you went up the mountain, there was snow. That map was yeah. fucking amazing. I loved that map a lot. I forget what it's called, but that, that was in the... That was la- one of the later... Yeah, that was like the second to last pack, I think. Yeah. Dragon something, whatever the fuck it was called, that pack. Uh, all right, RuneScape. If you're still playing RuneScape, you can now play it on your phone. And it will work with the same account that you have on your PC, so you can fucking play <gasps> back and forth. So what now you can play it 24 7. When you get what to. What the fuck is RuneScape? Uh, RPG? MMORPG? RuneScape? It's pretty old. It's old. Okay. Uh, like, I know of it, but <laughs> I, I know I have never played it. Like, dude, the JPEG, uh, the images of these things are tiny. How old is this fucking this game, game? It's old. It's super old. I want to say it's like 99, 2000. RuneScape is old. That's all I remember from Rune, RuneScape. Mm. Let's look at the date here. I'm I'm actually curious. Two thousand one. I was hey, I was close. Yeah, because it's three it's three D, so it wouldn't be from ninety nine. Well, um, ninety nine two thousand. I did say ninety nine yeah. two thousand. Yeah, two thousand <laughs> is kind of where they started transferring over to the three D shit. Uh huh. Um, RuneScape. I remember people were bright. a lot of people played that. Right. Well, I, I've heard of it. I I just never. 
played it because I have or had a life up until. I recently. never played an MMORPG in my whole life. Never. No. Well, I, I never... see the appeal. I just, I, I just, there wasn't enough friends that played that, so I just played Halo and everything mm-hmm. else, all the things that people actually played in my friend group, anyways. Oh, so that Nintendo Switch Online app that you're going to have to download to play online and talk with people. So you actually have to have your phone on. You can't yep. push the lock button and then, you know, conserve battery. Mm-hmm. Nope, can't do that. That's I'm sure they'll fix that eventually. Because, dude, every, everything can do that. Skype can do that. Discord can do that. Everything. Mm-hmm. It's ridiculous. So I'm sure they'll eventually figure that out. That is... Um, <laughs> to the point you're using your phone? What the fuck? It is a Seriously, dumb like, it is a dumb solution, but fuck? it's I've I've used my phone before. So to play online but, with people. Yeah, because <laughs> like it's the last case like last horrible possible No, it's not that bad. Outcome. You just put on your headphones and put your phone in your pocket and then bam, you're talking with people on I, Skype cuz PS4 know. doesn't fucking have Skype. Yeah. Well, no, well, it's not even well, <laughs> it does have voice chat now, so it's Oh, it has just, voice chat, but nobody fucking uses it. Yeah, well, that's their problem. No, that's not their problem. Nobody uses it anymore. That's a, nobody uses voice chat anymore. Everybody no. uses Skype or Discord or some other shit. So you know, it's it's a it's not a great solution, but it's, I feel like a lot of people are already doing this anyways, using another thing to talk on anyways. Well, we always just use the PC and then play Battlefield mm-hmm. Three, mm-hmm. but we also had like eight to ten people or something like that at some points in time. So and some of them not playing the game. So. And that was also on PS3, so we couldn't actually... Well, the PS3 had Skype. It, no, what? Yeah, the PS3 had Skype. Could you play a game and have yeah. Skype open at the same time? And yeah. Then, I, and then they got sure? bought by Microsoft, yeah. Oh, and then it... And then they didn't have Skype anymore. Like, I don't... I remember it being on the PSP. I don't ever remember it being on the PS3. I want to say it was on the PS3. I know it was on the PSP, too, but whatever. Whatever. Stupid Microsoft ruining everything. Uh, AT Games is releasing a small Genesis. This is part of their flashback stuff. They've released stuff before. I want to say their last Genesis was not that great, but this one looks way better. Uh, it has a cartridge slot on it, so you can play your... Yeah, so it, there was never Skype on the PS3. Fine. I, I feel like they wanted to have Skype. I feel like they yeah. announced Skype scum well, coming. Th- uh, right around that time is when... Yeah, because I want to so. say that they said, hey, it's on the PSP and it's going to come to PS3. And then the right. next day it was Microsoft. like Microsoft bought it and yeah. then there's like never heard anything about it again. Yeah, that's possible. Still lame that I was on the PSP and not, not consoles. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that small Genesis it, it is going to have 85 games on it. The two controllers are actually wireless. Okay. So it's the same price as the SNES Classic and it has 85 games opposed to 21. Yeah, but this is, uh, they've been releasing these things for a while. They're not always all great, these things. So no word if this one's actually going to be good. Well, do they have a list of games? Or? Oh, no, no, it's not even the games. Is, is the emulation going to be good? Is all that uh, stuff we don't know okay. yet. Because AT Games has released some of these before. Uh, their last one wasn't that bad. It's just, I, I want to say their, their last one didn't have HDMI port on it. And that's why people didn't really like it too much. So uh, what, what but was this it, one component? Does have, or uh, I think it was component. S-video? Uh, I think it was component. Okay. But yeah, uh, this uh, and the last one's also the wireless controllers were IR. This one is actually uh, like wireless. It's ra- radio signals, so mm. you're good. It's like 2.4 gigahertz, I think. Yeah, IR would be difficult to deal with a controller. Oh, if you have a clear view of your TV all the time, it's okay. But the second you fuck that up, then yeah. Well, I have a <laughs> coffee table and stuff, so it doesn't yeah, yeah. quite. And there, yeah. there's two ports for real controllers as well. So if you have Genesis okay. controllers, you can just plug them in there. And it has a rewind feature like most modern emulators nowadays. Right. So you push a button and rewind. I think it's like 10 seconds or something. Mm. It might be more on this depending on how much memory it has and all that. And then they're also working on an Atari flashback system that has like, I think it's like 200 games on it or something. And uh, yeah, it looks like a little tiny Atari. It has wireless controllers as well. Is, uh, it has ports so, do, for the, the the classic controllers too. So. so all the Ataris? What do you mean all the Ataris? No, the, the Atari well, twenty six hundred like, specifically. But is it so you'd have two hundred games just for the twenty six hundred? Yes. Or yes. Okay. Yes. So it's not like 
well, I can't even remember the numbers of the other uh, ones. 5,200 and 7,200? That sounds correct, but... It's 50-something and 72. I know that it was 7,200, but I don't remember the 50. Uh, whatever, Atari sucks. This just in the Atari box. We got pictures of this one, too. They, they just announced it. Uh, we don't know anything about it. They want to crowd. They want to crowd fund it, so that's about all we know about it. It looks like a weird-looking Atari Twenty Six Hundred. Has wood paneling at the front. You can also get it in just black. Uh, it has the thing they want to do with this is make it modern too. So it's going to play regular Atari Twenty Six Hundred games. Uh, Seventy-eight hundred. Seventy-eight. Damn it. Damn. 5200 was right. you, you, yeah you got i was 50 <laughs> was pretty confident on the 52 but yeah it's 7800 not 72 but. and they were both terrible um well the 52 wasn't too and 78 well, was the 52 yeah. had a terrible controller um the atari controllers all suck yeah yeah oh yeah yes <laughs> but you're talking most of the things were like fucking pac-man so it was just a shitty stick mm -hmm, a shitty stick with a shitty button yep uh, the stick wasn't that shitty, actually. It was okay. Well, it's just, yeah. Well, <laughs> it, it was set to the games. And, yeah, and then the Panther, that was canceled. So this is by Infograms, which owns the Atari name. So this is, like, officially from them. Uh, I don't know what to say. Because you could buy Atari t-shirts. You can buy anything with the Atari logo on it nowadays. So it's, it's, I don't have a real opinion about this. You can go play all the 2600 games on your PC right now if you really want to. Anybody who's wanted to play a 2600 game in, in HD has done it already. Mm. So Yeah, but that's the same thing regarding the whole SNES classic. I yes mean. and no. Yes and no. The thing about SNES emulation is now it's perfect, but it never was. Now it is because computers have just gotten to a point where it's just like, ah, fuck it. We'll just brute force it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but the Atari, but, the, the Atari has always been able to run it, and especially Atari games in HD do do look pretty all right, because it's all solid colors and they're all pretty sharp edges. Yes, and assuming you get the emulation shit set mm -hmm, up correctly, mm -hmm. in it. yes. So they're, they're whatever. It's Atari. So Oculus Rift is now going to package your controller. It, okay, let me restart that. Oculus Rift and the controller package is now going to be the same price as PSVR. Five hundred dollars, American. American. Uh, you can get it for four hundred dollars still for the summer. It's still on sale. So if you want to get it now, it's gonna be cheaper. But the new price is gonna be five hundred. So I wonder if Sony might react to this and maybe drop it a little bit. Yeah. Four fifty. I don't know. Like it's. <laughs> The whole concept is weird. Like, it, it would have to be more than that because, like, the Oculus... It, wait, which one's the Oculus? I guess The Facebook kind of, one. Is that the one with the room scaling or is that the... They uh, both have it. They both have it now? They both have it. That's what the controller is for the Oculus Rift. It just senses where you are in the room. That's what the controller does. But there were That's the sensors main, on... Yes, you get, you get sensors too. Okay, okay. <laughs> Oh, it's okay. Yeah, okay. I, I can remember. Yeah, That's I what the controller that. is. It comes with the sensors. Well, it came with the sensors. Yes. Yeah, it did. Yes. yes. Okay. Because um, that's the big motherfucker. Like, that's one of the reasons why I would want to do VR is the room scaling, that whole concept of actually being able to yes, I, I, get up and I, I get it. The thing I get is, it. Like, that's why I would want to play VR, but the, ga the game would have to be able to use it correctly for it mm -hmm. to work. Well, now, how many games are like that? That's like, the whole thing about room scaling dozen. is that it's cool, but who has a big enough room to do it? One and then two, what game actually capitalizes on it? There's not well, the, yeah. that many. They That's actually the have problem. like everyone has enough room. You just have to move your does everybody table have or enough something. room? Like you have enough room to play it, but you would want it to play it in a huge room where you won't hit the fucking ceiling, you won't hit the uh, wall or like, your PC. You won't hit the ceiling unless you're fucking six eight or something like that. I played uh -oh. this in the basement. I've hit the ceiling. Oh. By accident. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, like it, it really comes down to the game. Like how many games are actually... 
utilizing all, shit and are they real games or are they just kind of tech demos well, that all last the games that i consider years. real games right now you're just sitting in a seat and the whole thing is moving around you so yeah. you don't even need like the room racing scaling like for the those. racing game if i was actually into racing games i probably would have playstation oh, vr it's so no well not vr you would you should go oculus and get project cars on steam mm-hmm. that's the that's the ultimate racing thing right now because yeah drive club is okay it just it doesn't look amazing well, I was thinking Gran Turismo oh, or does, something like does that. Does that have VR? I thought. Well, I, the new one. GT was, Sport might. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I thought they had patched some shit into I it, so there was. I don't think that there's a VR. Yeah, no, there's VR and GT Sport. Okay. Oh wait, what? Oh, it doesn't support it across the whole game. Oh, what does that mean? So, like, not in menu, but in game, or what? Or, what, or not all maps. Oh, no, they have a mode that's called the VR Tour, and I guess they deliberately pick stuff that looks good in VR to put in there. I don't know. Uh, Douchebags. I don't know. (laughs) That sounds very douchey. But yeah, no, Project Cars Um, is fucking amazing. That that's okay. one of the things that I played in VR where I was just like, dude, if I had VR, I would play this all the time. The thing is, if like a a game that would really interest me in VR would be something along the lines of. uh, Forza, not Motorsport, the, the one that's the out Horizon. now. Horizon. Like that arcade ish game. It's kind of real. It's kind of arcade It's kinda somewhere in the middle well, there. So Project Cars is a little bit of both. You can you can okay. make it both. Uh, even in the menu, you can just select like arcade a burnout or, or something like that in VR would be like the, my. I just have, I walk around with a massive erection all the time just thinking of that. Just crashing into shit and just being in the fucking and driving with an actual stick and everything like oh yeah oh, yeah but, and i played that with the controller uh my buddy does have a racing wheel he just didn't have it set up so yeah maybe someday i'll play with a racing wheel because yeah. yeah like that's like understandably that makes sense to me of like the vr would work super well mm-hmm. but i just I'll get in my fucking car and drive. Fair enough, I can't crash it, it, the into people, but that's why I want The weird thing in VR car. is you don't really get the sensation of speed, so sometimes you just feel like you're out of control all the time. Uh, I was racing around with a a, um, uh, a souped-up, uh, uh, what was it, uh, a Mustang. Okay. And I was just like, holy fuck, man, I'm spitting out of control. And I, w- I would never do well, that in you, real yeah, life. You, well, it, <laughs> uh, if you have... This, with the wheel, a good force feedback wheel that yeah, should yeah. dissipate. Yes. Because it's the thing. With the it's like you don't actually feel anything mm-hmm. with the control. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, like when I played the PlayStation VR demo shit at the mall, it was like I, I didn't have, I played Eve and Battle Zone, Battle. Yeah, something, the something tank with game. tanks. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't feel any issue with the controls or the speed it just again seemed like just what the game was it seemed like it was a an hour experience and then you were done with it well uh so, well, so i played with the vive i think mm. i would like the oculus controllers way more they look way fucking cooler way easier to use right uh, they don't have like that big ring at the end even though like it kind of makes it easier to hold but uh i don't know i, I love those oculus controllers it has an actual stick on it and like a trigger so like when you're shooting guns it feels like you're shooting a gun mm. I, don't know, I don't know i don't I, know i just feel like i like the oculus rift ones better and when you can pinch stuff like you can push the two anyways it's i'm sure you can do that with the vive too it's just that, that controller it just seems more natural to hold anyways now, Stadium Events is a game for the NES, the Nintendo Entertainment System. It came with a pad that was called uh, like the Family Sports Pad or something, Family Activity Pad. And uh, imagine track and field, but you play with a pad. That was the m- main difference. Uh, they did not make a lot of these games, and somebody tried to sell, sell it on eBay. It got up to an insane price. I think it was like 45000 and the dude did not pay for it. But uh, the dude did get someone to buy it eventually for $41,977 for an NES game. Damn. In in the package still. That doesn't make sense to me, but sure. Well, that game is super rare, and uh, the, the, the pad that comes with it is actually super rare too. So, 
yeah, it's it's the rarest NES game. People, uh, if you if you go through your old collection and you ever see a game called Family Fun Fitness Stadium Events, uh, <laughs> hold on to that thing. Even if it's not in the packaging or it doesn't have a, have a box, it still fucking sells for a lot without the box. Mm. Anyways, and our last news item here: MLB thinks that the Overwatch League is too similar to their own logo. Yeah, that's kind of funny. It's weird because I, I want to say that there's a lot of fucking leagues that use a logo that is exactly yep. like that. MLB's that's kind of where I'm thinking <laughs> or going with that. Like a, what was the cyber cyber something league? Cyber gaming leagues? Oh, fuck, what? CGL? Oh, yeah, yeah, it was CGL. There you go. That right. sounds about right. Let's look at that. CGL logo video games. I'm pretty sure their logo was exactly the same shit. Oh, damn, it's not going to give me a logo. All right. Well, whatever. Uh, who uh, the uh, the NBA logo is a very similar to the MLB logo, and that came out after the MLB logo. It's imagine the MLB logo tilted on its side, and it's a basketball player instead. That's the NBA logo. So it's just it's 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 weird because it's not the same colors. I get that it's kind of like the same design. It's a rectangle with two colors in it with a white form in the middle. But that's that's pretty much where it ends. There's uh, mm. I think there's six days left for them to file a trademark, whatever the hell it is, against uh, Blizzard. Right. But I don't see anything happening with this, to be honest. I feel like there's a precedent set where n- too bad, too late. It's, it's too <laughs> late. There's already logos that look like yours. It's sorry. Um. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't know how you'd actually be able to. Cyber that. Athlete League is that what it's called? Cyber. Fuck it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Uh. Oh. Cal, okay. Cal. Okay. So Cal was like the, the non-pro edition of CGL. So there was CAL, which was like, the minor leagues, and then there was CGL, which was the pro leagues. I just wish I ha- I could find that logo, because that logo was exactly the fucking same. Cyber Gaming League logo. Man, it's not it's not giving it to me. It's just not giving it to me. Oh well. What can you do? Oh there you go. M oh it's MLG. Dude, MLG is still going on right now. MLG's logo. Oh no, Major is, League Gaming is yeah. Major League gaming yeah, yeah, yeah. is that the one you're thinking yeah, of? yes yes you're not talking about the shit we no, was doing with no, direct tv no mlg okay. is straight up just an mlb logo yes and it's fucking major league gaming yeah <laughs> it's one letter off uh so yeah I, I just i don't see this i don't see them winning it yeah i, I don't see how they could so I, I, uh, unless the text is the exact same like exact same is the only way i could see them actually being able to I don't think it is. Yeah. I want to say and the uh, the NBA logo the text might be the same. Is there an NBA is there I'm trying to remember if there's actually a text. Yeah, there is. And then MLB also has a text in there too. Let's see. Is it the same font? No. There's no font in the MLB logo. So they're go totally different. It's a totally mm. different logo. That's what's different about it. It says NBA right in there. Can't sue us. <laughs> says nba right there uh, all right so there you go that's uh video game news yeah <laughs> for the week so thanks for tuning in if you're watching live we'll be back with sprawl and brawl next our mma show but until then mma what's this mma you speak of ultimate fighting cage stuff cage right that's that sounds dirty Oh, it's like human cockfighting or something. Ooh. Something like that. Cocks. Mm-hmm. Yes. I knew you'd be interested in that. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, um, Comic-Con's on this week, so there's very little gaming news. Uh, um, usually I there's get, a what, few trailers and stuff, but one I guess, thing I guess it's still early. Was, um, uh, did, 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 uh, what did I miss? The... Batman, uh, the fuck, <laughs> stupid, the Walking Dead 
season oh yeah four there's a ba- okay yeah batman, batman and who cares that's why i didn't yeah, talk I about uh, that tell a tale tell a tale yeah there's a telltale yeah. batman game coming out there's a release date uh, cool they, well they re- they announced four games or something like that yeah whatever tell tell that, that's the that, that's the biggest gaming shit that really came out in the last like three days well uh, no well, disney tale. disney had a lot of news for uh kingdom hearts King uh <laughs> the battlefields uh the, the star wars game at battlefront and uh, what else and then another thing we talked about something else the kingdom Hearts shit was not really all that no uh, they had a lot of star wars stuff though Yes, I, I agree. There was a lot of Star Wars stuff, but the Kingdom Hearts stuff was like one thing. It's just everyone blew it out of shit because oh, oh, it's oh in the God. same universe as Toy Story. <gasps> that, that game Whoa. that's never gonna come out. Oh, it'll come out in four years. Will it? I'm not super yeah. confident. Oh, <laughs> Final Fantasy 15 came out eventually. Yeah, but that has Final Fantasy on it. There's no Disney King- holding them back. Oh, Disney's not the one holding. You them can't back. fuck this up with Goofy. Goofy's our most serious character. No, Disney, Disney's, Disney gave them the rights. They so Square's paid them money, and then it's it's their fucking shit. Just as long as they don't violate the terms of agreement, then 